Hi, everybody. I don't know if you can hear me. Okay, sorry, I was having a really hard time getting logged in today. My computer decided to do an update right as I was trying to start our stream. Um, and for some reason, my video isn't working. But can you all hear me? Okay, even if you can't see me, is the sound coming through? All right, if someone could just let me know uh, in the chat, that would be super helpful. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. And I'm sorry, again, I'm not sure why my video uh, isn't working. It was like my whole computer updated and then there was no video. So let um, me try one more thing. Hey, there we go. Fixed it. Okay, great. So um, now we have video. Yay. Okay, good. Uh, felt weird not being able to, uh, to be on there on video. So anyway, um, hello, good afternoon. Happy October. I can't believe that it's actually October at this point. Uh, so I wanted to, as always, kind of take a moment, uh, go through a little bit from last week and then talk about what we have going on this week. Um, and so thank you again for those of you who are joining me. I think that's fantastic. And if you're watching this later as a recording, uh, thank you for that as well. So um, let's go back to last week for just a minute and talk um, about our assignments from last week and then we can talk about what we have going on this week. So uh, last week, week number seven, we had discussion number seven um, that came up and I just wanted to make a couple of comments about this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the ice cream prompt. I'm a huge fan of ice cream, so I thought it was kind of fun uh, to take that little ice cream test and think about it in terms of the things that we're covering. And I really enjoyed your operationalizations of these different measures, how we could do a self-report, observational and physiological, like really, really nicely done on number one. Uh, a lot of you shared your results. I love those of you who just kind of copied and pasted the image that you got from the test that you took. I think that was fantastic. Uh, and then of course, you know, as we're talking about the reliability and validity of this quiz, uh, obviously not the best, right? So we could have some reliability with it in the sense that a lot of people have consistency in, um, you know, in the ice cream flavors that they like. That's definitely something that we could have reliability with. But do we have any validity? And I really wanted a little bit more from a lot of you on number four. Some of you just said, no, uh, the quiz isn't valid. Um, you know, ice cream doesn't relate to personality. And you're on the right track. But I definitely wanted you to be thinking about, you know, how could we really examine this from like a psychometric research methods perspective of, you know, why would this not be valid? So a lot of you, again, a really good job on that. Um, ice cream flavor doesn't really capture the complexity of personality. It's not necessarily measuring what it claims to measure would be things you can talk about, um, you know, and so really poor like criterion validity, right? And so like what you could do is kind of compare across and I wanted just a little bit more there. But a lot of you did a really beautiful job uh, with this and I enjoyed um, your results and your reactions to them. Uh, don't forget to reply to a classmate. And again, if you keep getting like a comment along the lines of I wanted a little bit more or give me a little more, uh, try and give me a little more, right? And then you definitely won't uh, run into that issue of losing points. So um, again, really nicely done for the most part last week. This week we move on to week number eight chapter seven and exam number two, right? So we do have our second exam this week. So with chapter seven, if you open the lecture, for chapter seven, what we're looking at is sampling. How do we estimate the frequency of behaviors or beliefs? So we're talking about external validity, generalizability, samples, when is a sample biased? What are some sampling techniques that we can use? Things that are important, are larger samples better than smaller samples and so on. So really talking about um, these components of external validity and populations versus samples and, and random sampling and so on. So make sure you read through my summary. And then of course, on the Beyond the Book page, I have a little bit beyond. I found a little video about random sampling that I thought might be helpful. A little bit about non-probability samples in a video um, that I found related to that. So make sure that you watch the videos, click on all those links and so on. And then on the key terms page, here are the terms that you need to know from chapter seven. Uh, if you wanted to start kind of thinking about or preparing for that exam, um, uh, which we do have this week. So uh, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. For discussion number eight, this one is definitely related to the topics we're covering. As always, you have my instructions and my video. So with this one, uh, what I want you to imagine is that you were going to estimate the price 
of the average book at our college bookstore. So if the bookstore carries 13,000 titles and you plan to only use 200 of them, you're gonna select a sample of 200 books, record the price of each book, and then use that average to estimate the average price of those 13,000 overall books at the bookstore. Assuming that the bookstore can give you access to a database that lists all of the titles that it carries. Uh, what are some questions here uh, that I want you to think about? I have a couple of questions I want you to think about as it would relate to doing that experiment. Definitely something interesting and that could be done. So number one, what is the sample in the study and what is the population of interest? Number two, how would you collect a simple random sample of books? Right, and so I want you to tell me how you could conduct a random sample, explain that to me, explain that process to me, show me that you understand. Number three, choose one of the following and discuss how you would collect that sample. So you can do either uh, systematic, a random sample, I'm sorry, systematic random sample, a cluster sample, multi-stage sample, or a quota sample. So you can pick any of those, uh, whichever one um, you would like to do, whichever one makes the most sense to you, and then you're gonna describe that. And then discuss one possible way that you could end up with a bias sample when you were conducting this study. So hint, be sure to discuss how the sample would have been gathered, the kind of bias that would occur. So really elaborate, again, show off your knowledge and understanding of the materials. You'll hit reply when you're ready. And then don't forget to also reply to a classmate. So read through a few people's responses and then you'll reply to one of them um, to kind of give your thoughts and understanding. Okay, so as always, we have that this week. So you have your three things to do, read the chapter in the book, read the lecture, read the lecture video, and then complete the discussion. And then we have exam number two. So exam number two, just like the first exam, is here on Canvas. If you click on it, it will take you right um, to it. And no worries about being late, and you can always go back and watch the beginning later if you needed to. So the exams are worth 50 points. This one has 48 questions on it and you have an hour to take it. So you'd have more than a minute per question. Some of them are true, false, and will be a little faster. So 60 minutes, so make sure that you're really mindful of the time, watch the little clock that's there. Skip questions if you don't know the answer, that's totally fine. You only get one attempt, so make sure that you're ready and organized before you begin. Ready and organized to me means that you've studied, you prepared, you have an hour, you have good internet, you have a quiet space to take the exam. Maybe you've completed the study guide and you have it in front of you. That's something that I would definitely do if I was taking the exam because I would really want um, to have that resource. Uh, remember that Canvas will stop you when your time is up. So you wanna just be really mindful of your time. Uh, you don't wanna run out. Um, so again, feel free to skip stuff if you need to. Um, and then make sure you submit your quiz. When you're done, you'll have a score right away uh, and you'll be able to see how you did. So again, study and prepare, and if you go back one page right under the link to the exam, I do have the study guide for you. So if it's on the study guide, make sure that you know it, and if it's not, you don't have to worry about it. So I won't say that our exams are cumulative in the sense that I'm not going to ask you things from the first unit, but our information all does kind of build on what came before. So it's really important that you understand that foundation um, as we continue to build. So this exam is on chapter three, part one, chapter three, part two. And then if you scroll down here, chapter five and then chapter seven for this week. So make sure that you know every term and concept that's on here. If it's on this list, it will be on the exam. If it's not on here, you don't need to worry about it. So don't worry about studying for it. Um, and again, same format, same style. A lot of you did really well on the first exam. So if that um, was the case for you, prepare similarly. If you wish you had done better, maybe really like take some time to complete the study guide and make sure that you are all set uh, before you begin. So um, those are the big things for this week, right? We have exam two and discussion uh, number eight. I do have some reminders for you and then of course are your extra credit question. Um, so reminder number one, please take a moment to make sure that you're still subscribed. Um, again, it's only good for a month, so several of you have fallen off. I uh, really appreciate those of you who keep on top of that. It saves me a lot of time. And if you're watching this as a recording later, it is the one way that you can still get extra credit for answering the question. Um, the other reminder I have for you, if you look ahead to next week, uh, so I'll put this in the chat here. Our next Twitch live stream will be on Wednesday, October 9th 
at 1.15 p.m. Okay, so Wednesday, October 9th, oops, I cut off at uh, 1.15 p.m. Okay, so that will be our next uh, Twitch live stream next week on Wednesday, like usual. Kind of uh, back and forth between 1 and 1.15, depending on the week, so sorry for that. Um, but just always make sure to look at those announcements. Otherwise, let me give you the extra credit question so that you can answer that. Um, kind of a, a basic concept of this week, so I think it's a good opportunity for review. This is the week number eight, uh, Twitch Extra Credit. So what is random sampling? Define and describe. What is random sampling? Define it and describe it. Uh, when you're ready, you can go to optional Twitch Extra Credit number eight, since we're in week number eight. Click on Start Assignment up at the top, and then you can type your response in the box. And when you're done, hit Submit to get confetti and balloons <laughs> so those are the big things for this week uh, biggest thing again you know please try not to wait till sunday night to take the exam set yourself up for success with that try and take it early don't forget to also study and prepare do the discussion for this week otherwise i believe that's everything um, i will hang out for a little while if you do have any questions for me i'm more than happy to uh answer them otherwise hang in there with this heat it's uh it's hot again which is miserable given that it's October and I'm so in the mood for fall and I'm sure I'm not alone. Uh, but I hope you all have a wonderful week and that you're doing well. I'm going to minimize my video just so I'm not staring at myself, um, but I will be here for a few minutes. And thank you. Thank you all for joining me. And I will hope to see you uh, next week for our next uh, Twitch live stream. Yeah, thank you as well. Have a wonderful week. Again, take care of yourselves. Uh, hang in there with the heat. And I'll hope to see you all uh, next Wednesday. Thank you as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great rest of your week as well. Yo, thank you. I definitely uh, love my football Sunday. So thank you so much. still here if any of you have any questions um, I'm happy to answer them for you